Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to learn how to utilize the knowledge of the radius and the diameter of a circle to come up with distances between two given points. So we have to remember, of course, that the diameter is twice the radius, or the radius is one half times the diameter, and we've kind of notated that. C for the center of the circle, D for the diameter of the circle, R for the radius of the circle. Now, let's say we have these three circles circle A, circle B, and circle C. Again, we indicate the circles with their central point. And then we have a couple more points on here. We have the point X and the point Y. We're given that the diameter of circle A is 10, the diameter of circle B is 20, and the diameter of circle C is 14. And we're trying to find the distance from A to X, from B to X, and from B to Y. So just a matter of recognizing what we're looking at. So the first thing we want to do here is look for the distance from A to X. That's this distance right here, which looks like it's the radius of circle A. So we can say that the radius of circle A is equal to half times the diameter of circle A, which is half times, and here they give us the diameter of circle A, which is 10. So therefore, this is equal to 5. So the distance from A to X is equal to 5. And I should probably write that here, so that's clear. The distance from A to X is equal to the radius of A, which is equal to 5. All right, how about the distance from B to X? All right, the distance from B to X, that would be the distance from there to there. Well, we can take the distance from B to A, which is the radius of B, and subtract from that the distance from A to X, which is the radius of A. So we can say that this is equal to the radius of B, minus the radius of A. Now the radius of B would be half the diameter of B, and subtract from that half the diameter of A. So in this case, that would be equal to one half of diameter B is 20. Subtract from that one half times the diameter of A, which is 10. So this would be 10 minus five, or five. So the distance from B to X is five, the distance from A to X is five as well. All right, now how about the distance from B to Y? Okay, here we have B, there we have Y. So what we can do is we can take the distance from B to C, which is the radius of B, and subtract from that the distance from C to Y, which is the radius of C. So we can say that this is equal to the radius of B minus the radius of C. Now the radius of B would be half the diameter of B, so that would be 10. And the radius of C, that would be half the diameter of C, which is half of 14, which is 7. So 10 minus 7 is equal to 3. So notice that as you get used to it, you can probably make this a little bit faster and shorter. All right, now we have another set of circles, three circles, a big one, a medium-sized one, and a smaller one. Notice they give us the diameters, 11, 8, and 5. And notice they want us to find the distance from F to C and the distance from A to E. F to C, that's from here all the way over to here. Well, that would be the distance from F to E plus the distance from E to C. So let's write that down. So the distance from F to C, that's equal to the distance from F to E plus the distance from E to C. Now, why did I pick those two distances? Well, notice that the distance from F to, C, to E, that is the diameter of circle A, and the distance from E to C is the radius of circle, uh, circle C. So that means here I have this, the diameter of circle A plus the radius of circle, oops, circle C. All right, the diameter of circle A that's given, that's 11. We add to that the radius of circle C, which is half the diameter, that would be half of five, so we have 11 plus two and a half, that would be 13.5. So that's the distance from F to C. All right, one more. The distance from A to E. Okay, that is from here, the center of circle A, to the edge of circle A. Well, that's simply the radius of circle A, so that's equal to the radius of circle A, which is equal to the diameter of circle A, divided by 2. So in this case, that is equal to the diameter 11 divided by 2, which is 5.5. So you can see that 
This is what they expect you to be able to do. You get a number of circles, one on top of the other, and they want you to find the distance from one point to the other point on the center of circles like that. And that is the way it's done.